Hi everyone, Raf here and I'd like to introduce a new section of the course. So this is a supplemental section that contains workflows and more tips when creating your own game backgrounds. And in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to do some cleaning up in your artwork. Because as you can see right here, if we remove the mask that we created, this one, there's a lot of excess right here. So if we'll check it layer by layer, you can see that there are some excess parts right here. And that is okay, but if you want to present the document itself and for it to be more pleasing, we need to remove these shapes right here or this excess right here. And we're going to do that with the help of clipping masks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a rectangle or any shape that is the same size as the canvas or the artboard. So if you'll check the size of the artboard by going into File and Document Setup, choose Edit Artboards. And as you can see right here, it's 1136 pixels by 640 pixels. So we're just going to create a rectangle in that size. So just use the rectangle tool. And instead of drawing on the artboard, we're going to press on the artboard and then type in the exact values. So here's a rectangle with the same size just like the artboard. And what we're going to do is align it in the center horizontally and vertically. Just go to Window. Align and this window panel pops up. So just center it horizontally and then vertically. You can also turn it into the default stroke and fill. So what we're going to do is we're just going to trim or clean the FG first. So let's just hide these ones first, paste it here. And for every clipping mask that you will do, make sure that it's on top of everything. So so this should be underneath this and then just select all by pressing Control a or clicking on this circle right here and then go to edit i mean object and then clipping mask and then make or i prefer just using Control 7 and as you can see it trimmed off everything outside of the rectangle that we just created as you can see so it's a lot cleaner now and it's really important that the rectangle should be the same size as the artboard and then we're just gonna do it on the mid-ground like so this needs some serious cleaning up guys so let's just create it again again use the rectangle tool align it then select all and press ctrl 7 so again same result Going into the background right here, again the same, align it, select all, press Control 7. So there you have it. Now you can just unhide the layers like so, and you don't need this mask anymore. This sort of window we've created right here. So let's just unlock this. You can actually delete or don't delete this. You can just hide it, but I prefer deleting it for just for the demo. Close this panel right here. Close this one or maybe put it here. And there you have it. A clean and trimmed artwork for your background. So you can present it in a more cleaner way now especially when you're showing it to your friends or to your fellow artist or actually to your director or to your boss and i hope this lecture has helped you and i'm gonna create more little snippets of tips and tricks videos like this and i'm just gonna upload them in the coming weeks so thanks for watching so thanks a lot for taking my course and i do hope that you've created your own game backgrounds following my tips and i can't wait to see them